Welcome back to the channel everybody, Zach with Money Pit RC. Today's video is a highly requested video. Ever since I got done building the four wheel steer Enjoy Rock Buggy, I've had a whole bunch of comments and all this of how I built mine. So today's the day, we're gonna release the full build breakdown of the Enduro Rock Buggy. So I've always seen a whole bunch of people build these rock buggies and I've been putting it off for a while because I'm like, I really don't have a need for one of those. And I finally bit the bullet and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna build one, but I'm gonna build it a little bit different. I'm gonna make it four wheel steer. I'm gonna make it super long, super cool. And that's exactly what we did. We made this thing long, we made it wide, and we made it four wheel steer. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's go over this build and see what it's made of. Here it is, here is the Enduro Rock Bouncer, is what they call the chassis. So I did get the one with the aluminum panels, not the plastic ones, because I figured the aluminum would look so much better. And it does with the colorways that I picked out. So in this kit, it does come with the all the cage pieces, the sides, and all that. So all you really need is just the skid plate, and then everything mounts to the actual buggy itself. So we're gonna start with the front. So I am running the Trio aluminum axle housings with the blue diff covers. I'm running the silver color just because I figured that it would match the aluminum body. Uh, up front, also rocking the Ramp Crab Servo, which I do have two of them, front and rear. So they are the Ramp Crab Servos, which I've heard good things about them on Amazon. So far, I haven't had any issues with them at all. Exactly the same setup in the rear. Trio aluminum axle housings, diff cover, Ramp Crab Servo, so in all four corners, I am running the OGRC Universal Axle Shafts, plus four millimeters, just to give it that little bit more track width. And also the Universals are a lot stronger than the pin style. So these are 53 millimeter shock absorbers. They're just friction shocks. I did have to set a little bit of preload and change out the spring rates on the front and rear, just to get this thing sitting pretty good, just because it is not meant for the Gladiator wheelbase, which is what we have here. Actually, it's a little bit longer than the Gladiator wheelbase because I'm running Gladiator rear links and I'm running Bronco rear links in the front. So overall, this thing is very long. It has a very long wheelbase. And of course, I did the blue just to match because the blue and the aluminum fits perfectly. Now I'm coming underneath, just have the Enduro skid plate with stock axial drive shafts because I never have issues with the drive shafts and I order like 10 pairs at a time so don't have to worry about the drive shafts at all. These are just some no name beadlock wheels with the brand new Little Guy Racing black label tires. These tires are phenomenal. I used to be a Swamp King type of guy but ever since these black labels came out I feel like I'm going to start swapping over to these because they are perfect. The compound's really good really soft, very sticky. So we are running some hex extensions just to give it that extra width. So as for the motor and ESC, I'm running the FuryTech Micro Komodo motor. Made it up to a stock SCX24 transmission. I did put the hardened steel gears inside of it just to help out with the longevity. Uh, we're running a Lizard Pro ESC. And then as for radio and receiver, we picked up this FlySky G7P. It has a whole bunch of programmability, which I do like because none of these switches are assigned to a certain channel. So if I want channel three to be this switch or channel three to be this switch or this one on top, I can change that. A lot of my cars run on the Dumbo radio, which is nice, it's cheap, but I think I'm gonna start switching over to this because this can hold a lot of cars and also the programmability is phenomenal. So I'm gonna start buying a whole bunch of the receivers just to swap all my cars over. Other than that, this build is great. So I did have an AX24 a little bit ago and I just didn't like it. I changed out the motor ESC, I changed out the servos, put brass on it and it just still wasn't good. 
I couldn't get that thing good. I don't understand. I know a lot of other people had issues with the X24, but that was my last four wheel steer vehicle that I had. Then I sold it just because I was like, I wasn't dealing with it. So I'm very happy with it. I know a lot of you guys are excited that I built it and wanted to see the full details. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of the details. So as of right now, we're gonna take it off the indoor course and we're just gonna see what we can do.
right now we're gonna take it on a couple of the crawler tracks. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can pick those up at. They're great indoor obstacles for your 124th, 118 micro crawlers. So check out the link in the description. Let's start testing. We're gonna start off with the frame bender. Simple, easy. Let's try this. I'm going to try it on the pipeline. You know we had to save the best for last. We're gonna try this party trick on the wave. Ooh. Give it one more go. Does that count? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below if that counts. I hope you enjoyed this video and had a blast of building this thing. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this rig. Let me know what we should build next. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Been getting good feedback lately and I really appreciate it. Catch you guys in the next video.